Hi everyone, my name is Ajit Pratap Singh and uh, the project I'm working on is uh, to add real-time collaboration in music blogs. Uh, so I've already uh, discussed about it in the previous uh, presentation, but uh, just in a brief, uh, the collaboration project is all about adding a uh, real-time collaboration feature in music blogs so that the users of uh, music blogs uh, can collaborate on a project in real time. So that is the project uh, right now I am working on. And uh, we have made uh, some changes uh, in the original plan also. So uh, the original plan uh, to implement the collaboration uh, project that I uh, proposed was to create a separate space for the collaboration. And uh, then in that uh, particular space, uh, bring the project and start collaborating. But uh, later on, me and my mentor, uh, we decided to uh, change the plan so that uh, the collaboration ha happens in the uh, original work, uh, the standard workspace. So that will that would be a better plan. Uh, it will also be uh, an optimized approach and a better implementation. So so first of all, I would like to show you the the new workflow, how the new uh, workflow of the project will work. So the uh, the original plan was to uh, so the original plan was to uh, create a separate space for the project and uh, collaborate on that project. But uh, in the new uh, new approach, what we will do is uh, the collaboration space will be used for the projects and also to tackle the projects which of the projects, for example, are uh, being collaborated on, and uh, we can show a list of the projects as well. Uh, so now, right now, what the new workflow will look like uh, when we when we click on the collaborate button, when we uh, click on the collaborate uh, collaboration button, a collaboration space will uh, appear something like that. And here we will have a project and also a link will be generated here. So when we copy the link and paste it uh, to another tab, uh, the link will be uh, navigate us to the uh, new project in the standard workspace and there we will be able to collaborate with our uh, with with another clients and the only thing uh, in the the only extra thing in uh, that particular workspace will be uh, the collaboration part that what uh, because this time whatever the changes will happen in the project those changes will be uh, shared among all the clients now how those changes will be shared i will show you just in a few minutes later so after that, I would like to show you a uh, basic architect. I have already uh, talked about this architecture basically. So just, just an uh, client initiate uh, the collaboration and another client uh, gets the changes uh, in real time. So uh, for this socket part, I have already uh, implemented a server like that. So I have a DM, uh, server named DMPS. First, let me clear it. Yeah. So, and uh, for the demo part, like how the service, how the you know, changes will be shared and uh, how the uh, clients basically will be connected. For that part, uh, let me sh start my server. Uh, so here my server is started and uh, this is the client basically. Here is the client, this one. And now, now let's say uh, I have another client and one more client so i have basically uh two more clients so when i have uh, these two clients uh for the first client i have got this message this client has been uh, connected with this unique id that first unique id will also be used uh for the room creation we will uh, implement a room using this first id and the this id is for the second client that we have got connected this one and for this one, here is the third ID. So now after that, let's say one of the client leaves. So if this client leaves, uh, we will get a disconnected as well with the respective ID. So this client has, le uh, has left the room. So we have got the message. So this is how the, uh, the clients will be connected through a socket server. And the part that we have to implement will be uh, to track the changes, uh, these changes. Let's say if I uh, remove that block from here and I put that block here. 
So now a change has been made in the uh, project. Now that change must be appear here in this client as well. So the part, so the the part we have to implement further is that to track the those changes and to send those changes to the uh, connection uh, to the socket server that we have already implemented this one. And after that, uh, the uh, after tracking and sending the changes, and the next task would be to sync those changes uh, with minimal possible uh, latency. So that was from my side. Uh, thank you so much.